Hello and welcome to day one of the Girlfriend's Guide to Travel Virtual Travel Expo. Yay, day one. <laughs> I'm your host, Anna Hoy, and I am the owner and vacation specialist with Vacations by Anna. And today and this week, each day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I'm going to go live right here on Facebook, and we're going to share with you some amazing destinations and itineraries geared towards women who love to travel. So are you a lady that loves to travel? Then you are in the right spot. So today we're gonna take you on a virtual tour and experience Italy. And joining me today, I have TJ McAvoy. He has been with Globus Family Brands for more than 20 years. And I heard that some of your favorite destinations, TJ, were Budapest, Prague and Toronto. And I wanted to tell everybody watching that this is an interactive. So if you have questions while we're speaking, put your, your questions in the chat. We would love to hear from you. And if you're ready to get started, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and we will get started. And thumbs up. All right. TJ McAvoy, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be part of your, your uh, week of great you know, talks with various BDMs and other vendors. So I appreciate you having me. Yeah, um, you get to be the first one. You're the guinea pig, TJ. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. I like, yeah. I mean, they don't know if I'm you know, bad or not at this point. So <laughs> at least, you know, I, I did I want it, to right? mention to our audience, I apologize. <laughs> I forgot to mention, you're going to want to stay to the end. If you're watching this live, type live in the comments. If you're watching the replay, go ahead and type replay because you're going to want to stay to the end because a little birdie told me we might have some special promotions available to all attendees. So go ahead and stay to the end so you can take advantage of that. And I did forget to mention that I have some special prizes at the end of the week and I'm going to do a little drawing and give out prizes on Friday. So you can come back every day live 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But today, let's let TJ take it away. Thank you so much, Anna. So You're welcome. This is more, yeah, this is more in general about Italy and the great ways to travel, but we have a wonderful product called Monograms. It's kind of a hybrid between an escorted vacation and an independent style vacation. So it's locally hosted. Let's take a look at what these packages include. So it's not um, over different here, than an so, escorted tour, right? An escorted tour is different than a guided tour. Correct, correct, yes. So to kind of touch on that, um, so like an escorted tour, you will have the cruise, you know, the tour director and the driver with you the whole time, kind of hold your hand type touring. Um, with monograms, the locally hosted, it's like having a best friend in town with you, but they just stay at the hotel and you can contact them you know, for any recommendations, they'll help you get to and from the sightseeing. So it's really a style of travel that people really like and small, you know, you're not traveling with a group. Um, you may have sightseeing with a group, but typically even the sightseeing is private. I like that. I like that There's style of traveling. So it's, it's guided, you have the specialist with you, but you do have some time to be a little bit independent and explore on your own. Yes, perfect, set up perfectly. Yeah, so here's kind of how the setup is. So we'll have multiple hotels that you can select from in each city. They're going to be about four star properties in the heart of that destination. So when you have that free time, it's easy to explore. Um, VIP sightseeing, which we like to call the happy lines. So you'll never have to wait in line again. And you'll see all those must-see sites. Um, the transportation between the cities, it's always plane or train. So you'll either take a high-speed first-class train or a plane when it comes to monograms, breakfast every day. And then you could actually kind of personalize it by doing optional excursions um, with monograms. So that's another way to kind of personalize and add, add some excursions, but rest assured, you will get all the must-see sites and we'll talk about that here in a, here in a little bit. Nice. Now, this is what I'm talking about, Rome, All right, Florence, so, and Venice. This is probably one of your most popular tours, if I'm not mistaken. Absolutely, yes. So, Rome, Florence, and Venice. So, Italy, that's on everybody's bucket list, or they've done it. I would. So, Italy has been our top land seller um, pretty much ever since we've been in business. So, 
this is a great way to um, get Rome, Florence, and Venice and have a little bit more free time on your own. It's great for those uh, girlfriend getaways or, you know, getting your groups together like, like you're doing, Anna, with this wonderful group we're, we're talking with today. Um, so it's more independent and you can pick and choose. And that's really great for like girlfriend getaways or any, really anyone you want to travel with. Nice. So I have a question for the audience. Give me a thumbs up or a heart if Italy is on your bucket list. So if you're on Zoom, you can give me a heart. I see Beth gave me a heart. And if you're watching live on Facebook, you can give me a heart or a thumbs up. Yes. And let me know, is Italy on your bucket list? I know it's definitely on my bucket list. And TJ, I believe you said it was on your bucket list as well. Absolutely, absolutely. And we got two hearts and two thumbs up, so we're, we're doing good. <laughs> At least the ones I could see. So we're off to a great start. Thank you for nice. that, Beth and Nicole. Yes. We'll go to this next slide. Okay, so um, just to get, kind of get the juices flowing and those, you know, those travel dreams um, building in your mind. So do a little shopping in Rome. Um, so I'm going to kind of go over some of the inclusions. So you'll do a walking tour of Rome. That's included. And then this is always included, Vatican City. Um, so that's on everybody's bucket list. It has Italy on their bucket list. So yeah, this is included this is sightseeing VIP with the access. local guide. Correct. Yep. No waiting in line. And um, we just go right, right into the heart of everything. Amazing. And then the Vatican, another great picture. So the entrance is included in that. So no need to wait in line, no need to buy tickets. We already got you covered. I like that. So everything is kind of curated for you. So once you get there, you're just good to go. You just get to have a good time. You don't have to worry about getting from point A to point D or B or getting tickets as you go. It's already been taken care of as part of your package. Correct. And so what's really great is that local host, so they'll, will not only get you to as close to these sites as possible, um, but then you'll have a guide or local host that will just lead you in there. And as you're watching all the people in line, especially the Coliseum, you get to go right in front of them. So it's definitely a great setup. And, and you really have, you just, it saves you time. You know, um, you have those three or four hours instead of waiting in line, you can pick and choose what you want to do once you're done with that sightseeing. Yep, my and then vacation. Entrance in, absolutely. And then entrance into the Coliseum. So all this is included. So you'll go right into the Coliseum. Uh, the Roman Forum, also included. Trevi Fountain. I was, I was reading something on this. There's something like um, 3,000 euro per day um, that is dropped into these fountains and they actually use it to um for to help feed the needy they use I heard those that. funds to I help feed the needy i think that's amazing so. it doesn't go to waste exactly exactly um florence so now we're on to florence um so just to step back a little bit on these packages you could do each city anywhere from two to four nights so you can do four, four, and four, or mix it up however you want to do it. Um, Florence, known as one of the most beautiful cities in the world. And then also Michelangelo's Statue of David, that's included. So you go to the Academy of Fine Arts, don't wait in line, go right in, everything's included. Um, so another benefit is, you know, you just get right to your sightseeing, uh, use the most of your time, and that'll give you more free time at the end of the day. So now are meals included along the, the way? Um, great question. So all breakfasts are included. Um, so that's standard on, on Globus and Monogram. So the breakfasts will always be included. Um, the great thing is like, especially on the sightseeing day, um, you'll be in the heart of those destinations because you'll already be there. But then you have that local host. So the local host can make any recommendations, um, help set up transportation for you. So it's really, it's, you'll be able to explore and um, kind of pick and choose the culinary um, goodness that you want that day. Nice. And would you say that a tour like the Venice Florence 
um, tour is good for a solo traveler? Yes, I would say it is. Um, you have, because you have that local guide. Um, so it definitely, you'll feel safe and you'll have, we have offices throughout the world, but we will have that local host at your hotel. You can be in as much contact with them as you want to be. So I would definitely say yes, absolutely. Great. And then some of the inclusions for Venice, obviously the gondola ride. Must do, you gotta do that, right? <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, I went to the Venetian a couple times last year in Vegas and I'm like- <laughs> Not the same, nah, not, not the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it, wanna, it made me want to go to Italy, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, also, yep. St. Mark's Square, another inclusion, so all the sightseeing is included. Um, Venice Palace Doge, also included with inside visits. And then Bridge of Size, um, gondola ride. And so now, okay, so that's kind is, of an intro if I can interrupt you real quickly, sorry about that. What are some of the sure. um, fun things for ladies who are traveling together on a group trip? So if they're going multi-generational or a couple of girlfriends going on a trip or a group, what are some of the, the fun activities um, other than the main attractions that you could venture out and, you know, add to your vacation while you're on the tour? We do have some preset optional excursions that you can choose from, um, that your, you know, your clients can choose from. Also with that local host, they're actually local to that destination. So they could help you set up various excursions that way. Um, even the concierge at the hotels, but we can, you know, if there's something that we know that they, they would like to do as a group while they're over there, we can, you just go to Anna and let her know and we'd send messages to our operations. So it's kind of, it's a beautiful thing because you can kind of, um, it's not a fully custom tour, but you can definitely customize those aspects. Yeah, because I don't know about you, but when I go to Italy and I think about Italy, I think about the food, I think about wine, I think about shopping, <laughs> I think about seeing all yes. these sites that you just mentioned. Um, but yeah, those would be definitely things that I'd want to add on um, to my vacation. So I'm sorry I interrupted. Please continue. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, I'm glad this is great. No, this is great feedback for sure. Um, so that would kind of took you into one of our monograms vacations. So now we're going to talk a little bit about our Globus, which is our escorted touring. Um, so this is, I only have a few slides in here on our escorted tours, but we basically have literally anything you want in Italy um, in our portfolio. I just want to kind of give you a sample of three different areas within Italy just to kind of give you a rough idea of the breadth of our product um, that we partner with Anna, who is a great um, travel advisor for us. So definitely book anything through her. Um, but these are kind of the staples of our Globus escorted products um, included more inclusions. So we're talking like the sightseeing, uh, more meals are typically included than our competitors. VIP skip all the lines, the happy lines that we spoke about. So a lot of these um, go for both Globus and monograms. So the happy lines, um, we also have local favorites on Globus. So these are more off the beaten path and exactly what it sounds like, what the locals do, um, whether it's a cookout and, you know, wherever, you know, stuff that the locals like to do and enjoy on their free time. Um, our hotels on Globus are always in the heart of destination. So Wherever the action is, that's where we'll have you. Um, I've been on several Globus tours and was able to utilize all my free time um, because we're right down the street from, you know, the main um, hustle and bustle of each city. Um, freedom, time to explore. So people, when, they think, when people think of escorted touring, they don't really think about that aspect, but we know we've, we've done several studies where what's the most important to travelers and pretty equally is seeing the must-see sites, which we include, but also building in free time. So that is something we definitely build into our itinerary. So most of the evenings, if there's not a dinner included, you're going to have all that free time. And a lot of the afternoons, because the sightseeing is typically done in the morning. Um, our tour directors, 
average with the company is typically about 15, 20 years. Um, free Wi-Fi on our coaches, which is wonderful, so you could stay connected. And then my Globus, where um, you can kind of personalize your vacation, um, where in we could book some optional excursions for you as well. So quick question for you, TJ. So you can plan everything ahead of time if you would like, or you can do as you feel while you're on your vacation, what you feel like doing that day, you can kind of see what's available and your tour guide, um, local expert can kind of help guide you to some things that you can do in that destination. Is that accurate? That is a great, great point. Absolutely. And I'm glad you brought that up because my recommendation, if you're kind of on the fence and you don't know if you want to do it or not, just wait until you get there. Because like Anna was saying, the the you know tour director will be able to answer any questions. And if we offer it, you'll be able to sign up for it while you're there. So don't feel like you have to pre-book it. Um, but that's definitely a great point by you, Anna. Thank you. Awesome. And another question I have for you is a lot of my clientele um, love to travel in groups. Is there, are these are set up for individuals and for groups as well. So if a, a group of girlfriends wanted to go on one of these tours, you have things set up for that? Yeah, absolutely. We get a ton of groups on our land packages, especially Italy. Um, so the max capacity on our coaches are either 44 or, or 28. We offer some at 28. However, if you get a large enough group, you can get your own motor coach. Um, where you can have the whole entire uh, bus to yourself and to your group. Um, we also do where if anywhere from, you could actually purchase a coach for any number. For example, let's say you have 20 passengers, we could price it out for that many if you have a group that just wants to go. But if you're with a shared group, definitely it's very, um, a lot of groups go on there usually, you know, uh, and they just intermingle well with the guests and you get a lot of friends that way, but it's definitely a great way to travel. I've luckily been able to travel with a group of my friends and it really maximized the joy I had um, in those vacations, so. Wonderful, I like that because I, I do know a lot of people, they wanna go on these type of trips with their friends, with a group of friends. With This is perfect for a multi-generational trip, you know, older folks and the younger, um, younglings going along for the ride and going yeah. on a, whatever adventure you know that you want and if you do a group you're able to kind of split up the excursions or do you guys need to do you need to do the excursions in a group as well or are you able to customize and be independent um like we spoke about well so on on globus so on globus you will we'll have um let's say you have a full let's say I have 40 people on the motor coach so when you get to, let's say you're going to the Coliseum, we'll break up into smaller groups where you'll have a professional local guide that is local to that area. Um, so let's say you're going to the Coliseum, you'll have, you know, anywhere from eight to 12 people. But if you're part of a group, you could say, hey, uh, we all want to be together with the same local guide. So we definitely set that up as well. Nice. Um, the, on the Globus, the site seeing we'll all be at the same time, but we'll have multiple local guides at those sites. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, and, and we also have the Whisper headsets. So you could actually kind of be, and I've done it many times on our escorter tours, on our Globus tours, you could be kind of exploring while you're doing the tour and you could hear, um, you know, everything the local guide is saying. Um, so you're never missing anything. You don't feel like you have to be right next to him or her to hear them. So um, very easy and, and relaxing. Yeah, so it sounds to me like a, a, for a first time visitor to Italy, that these tours would be a great option because especially the one that you were mentioning, uh, Venice, Florence, uh, what was it? Venice, Florence. Uh, Rome, Florence, Venice, or Thank any you. combination of And that of you that. see yes. the three major cities and you know all of the, the must-sees are included plus the independent. So would you agree this is a great way for a first time visitor to Italy to kind of have their experience? Absolutely, absolutely. So, and I'm glad you brought that up because when I was looking for an itinerary, the globe is this first one. I would say this one is, not only is it one of our most popular ones, but it's perfect for a first time visitor because um, you get that Rome, Florence and Venice. Um, you also get two nights in the Isle of Capri, 
um, have a knight and a CC. Um, I mean, you basically get everything, um, at least the introduction, um, pretty much you get all the main cities and where everybody wants to go to. So I would say this itinerary was one of the most perfect for the first time um, to Italy. And, and the beautiful thing about Globus, it's, it's very similar to uh, monograms as far as all the must-see sites being included. So all of those inclusions I talked to like in Rome, Florence, and Venice, those will be the same on a Globus. Got you. And quick question so. from Nicole. Can you, when you decide which of these amazing vacations you want to book, um, is payment required in full or are you allowed to make a deposit and, and make payment? Uh, great question. So the deposit's just two fifty per person, and then final payments on our land is due forty five days prior if it's just individual, or groups are due sixty five days prior. Um, awesome, so you, you really, you know, you could, yeah, you can make that initial deposit and just pay all at final payment or make payments. Um, that's kind of what I do when I take an expensive trip that I don't get to go to on, on Globus is. I kind of do it like a layaway, you know, and I make you know, $500 <laughs> <Vacation> <laughs> payments every month. Yeah. So, so definitely a great question because that's, that's kind of how I've afforded some of my vacations that I've gone yeah. on. So. Thank you for answering that. And I forgot to ask in advance, do any of these tours include air or is that additional? Like we would need to add air to our uh, vacation package. Um, that would be additional. So Whenever anybody asks me, should we book our own air or should we book Globus Air? I would look at both. Um, if you're really, really picky on your seats, typically since we have contracts, it's hard to get, you know, if you're, you know, great seats. Um, so I would check both with us and on your own. Obviously, if you have miles, that's great too. Yeah, I was just going to say, if you have um, miles, you got to stick with that. <laughs> yeah. Yep, exactly. So awesome. Well, thank you so much for answering that. And so on this best of Italy, um, it seems like you're getting a little bit of everything. Um, what are the high points of this tour? Well, this is so just think of um, the Rome, Florence and Venice, especially if you haven't been there um, because you get all those inclusions, you know, you get the Roman Forum, the Colosseum, Michelangelo's statue of david the gondola ride um also when you're at the isla capri this the beauty of the mediterranean is just breathtaking so you gotta get a taste of um pretty much everything tuscany amazing wine um and just it just pure beauty um a lot of great landscapes so i would say the highlights are still if you've never been there it's still got to be the rome um florence and venice but if it were me, I would want to do the Isle of Capri because um, I love the water and the, and, the, and the, you know, being on the ocean there. Nice. And then Beth had to go, but she had a question of, do you need to be vaccinated to go on these tours? Great question. Yes. For 2022, you have to be vaccinated to travel on any of our vacations. So with that, obviously, if we, you know, defeat the pandemic, that could change, but we had to come out with that because just to stay consistent throughout the year, but it's possible that could change. And the fact that just getting into these countries is impossible without the vaccine, it really kind of eliminated those issues of um, non-vaccinated travelers from the U.S. getting into those countries. Gotcha. So definitely a great question, but yeah, 2022 have to be vaccinated. Thank you for answering that. And then, okay. Oh, no problem, sorry about that. Um, all right, so then we have North Italy's highlights of Cinque Terre. So I just kind of wanted to give you just three examples. Um, we have everything, you know, Anna could get anything from us as far as Italy. Um, we have so many tours there, but this is another great one. And I always like to point out, um, so this is kind of more off the beaten path. Uh, you learn a lot about the Northern Italy culture, um, traditions, and I really love this one for foodies, which I'm a foodie. Me so too. any foodies or uh, yes, absolutely. 
to kind of shut that question. it down. If you're some... a foodie, give us a thumbs up in the chat. Uh, if you're a foodie, like TJ and I, Nicole's a foodie. Yes, we have some foodies watching on <laughs> Facebook. So we are definitely a foodie crowd. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So I normally try to remember everything I'm going to say, but I had to jot these down because this, I don't know, I, I love just, I would love to do this itinerary. So you'll do a balsamic vinegar tasting in Modena, a Parmesan, Parmesan cheese tasting in Basito, which Parmesan is one of my favorite, it's probably my favorite cheese. Um, get to have a risotto lunch at a rice factory in Vercelli a wine tasting lunch in Gabbiano, and then non-foodie, but um, another one, because obviously I'm a guy, and of course I would love this, is the Ferrari M Museum in oh, um, nice. Marinello. So that's where Ferraris were, um, that's where that started. So there's a museum there. So I would definitely do that and eat my way through Northern Italy. <laughs> Absolutely. And um, is it Milan known for shopping as well? Absolutely. Yeah, that's a great call. So definitely um, a lot of great shopping in Milan. Um, oh, another thing I wanted to really point out is the Cinque Terre, just the beauty. Um, so I, I guarantee everyone here that's going to view this has seen images of Cinque Terre. So just Google it. It's just the, it's the beautiful images that you see in a lot of Italy um, promotions. Um, so that's definitely a part that will be very awesome and unforgettable so yeah this sounds amazing everything i love food wine and shopping <laughs> i'm in yes. nicole let's go yes. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely absolutely um so that's definitely one i would like to try and i always like to throw on this uh, sicily one because many operators don't have where you just do sicily or very few you know, there's many, you know, various vacations that it touches on Sicily, um, but we actually have product everywhere in Italy. So um, this is a great example. This is this is a very in-depth look, a pretty in-depth look of Sicily. Um, so some of those highlights, um, well, obviously you're in the heart of the Mediterranean. Um, you go through all these rugged mountains um, and it's the Mount Edna. You can see Mount Edna from here. Um, it's the largest active volcano right now, um, but just just the beauty and the history. Um, so right here, this image you're looking at is um, El Greco Theater, Amphitheater. Um, and from here, you can actually see Mount Etna. So um, just beautiful. And that, obviously that's included as well. Um, also got some foodie info on this, that's this destination as well. So I always like to write this down because I'm like, definitely, it's part of the experience for Italy, food and wine, um, but foodie. So the pasta and the seafood is to die for. I've had many friends that have been there, um, but they say it's very, very different from mainland Italy, which is pretty interesting. If you've been to Italy, um, it's just a very unique pasta and seafood. It's way different than Italy mainland. Um, also, Another great thing to look forward to is ricotta cheese. Um, I heard is unlike any ricotta cheese in the world, and it's the home of the cannoli. So, oh yes, um, I've heard that as well. So, if I'm not mistaken, I've I've heard them um, call this vacation the sea, the mountain, and the volcano all in one. Yeah, that's a great way to put it. Yes, um, and I do kind of want to point out. Um, so, if you look at the map. I look at these all day, so I forget to mention them, but um, just to kind of read the map, wherever the dot starts, it, well, that's where the tour starts, wherever the red bubble is, that's where the, the tour ends. And then every dot that has a number, that's how many nights you stay. Every bubble you see that is included stop. Um, so all along the way with Globus, you're gonna get all the must-see sites. Um, so you'll basically get a very in-depth look of that region. Thanks for pointing that out. And isn't um, Sicily also known for like the cobblestone streets? Yes, so yes absolutely. Sicily. Absolutely.
Oh, uh -oh now yes. we're at a, a girl's dream shopping. <laughs> Where can we shop? What can we buy? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. So wherever you want to go in Italy, Anna can send you. Um, so here's some of my colleagues that have basically been on many tours to Italy. They put this slide together. So ceramics from the Amalfi Coast. Handmade sandals and Positano, Lemoncello and Capri, which is what I would pick. Um, I am Irish, so it's kind of perfect one for me. Um, silk from Como, marionettes from Palermo, and the Panforte in Siena, um, which at one point I knew what was in that and someone explained to me, and it's amazing from what I hear. So. Well, what would you get, Anna? If you, if, I mean, I don't know. Favorite? A little bit of everything. It all looks great. I'm definitely, you know, feeling Italy because I don't know if I told you, but I'm half Greek. So Greek and Italian have similar tastes. And I'm all about, you know, the food, the culture and the history. I love all of that. Um, but, you know, I enjoy a little shopping and a little wine as well. So I, I think um, I would like all three of these tours that you mentioned, but I think I'm kind of leading towards the Northern Italy for myself, but I'll just buy a little bit of everything. <laughs> yes, so I guess I'll have to come back and do multiple tours so I can get it all right. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Well, awesome. Well, I do have a question right. about safety because you did mention about um, being vaccinated. Sure. So other than being vaccinated, um, you know, people that are looking to travel now or 2022, um, they're concerned about safety. And so I know that the Globus family of brands um, takes that to heart. And I'd love it if you could touch base on any safety protocols that, you know, travelers would need to know before they go. Because one of the things I would like to point out is that when you plan a vacation on your own, you have to try to figure out what are the travel restrictions where you're going to and from, or if you're going to multiple destinations that could get convoluted. And so if I understand correctly, Globus family of brands, you guys take care of all of that for the guests. So the guests don't have to worry. It's taken care of in advance. So I'd love if you would touch on that. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's a great, great call. Um, so we will do temperature checks. Um, obviously you need to be vaccinated, but any, because right now, obviously we all know that you have to pass a COVID test within 72 hours of departure um, on your return home. So anytime anything like that is required while you're on the tour. We actually set it up and we pay for that. The only one you actually have to pay for is on the way to, to your vacation, um, you know, to get to that destination. But we handle all of those costs and we set up anything w where you have to pass a COVID test. Um, also, we've been around for 93 years and actually our, our shareholders are in Switzerland, but they're all Italian. So, I mean, our connections throughout Europe is just unbelievable. So we have offices all over the place, operations offices everywhere. So um, we always have boots on the ground for lack of a better term to where um, we can take care of anything. So um, did that kind of touch on what you were yeah, looking absolutely. for on that? So, I, yes, thank you. So this is a safe vacation. Um, and I just want my audience to realize that you can travel and these type of vacations are a great option for somebody that may have some concerns. And if you're a solo traveler, female solo traveler, this is a great option because you are part of a group, but you're still safe. You're in a curated environment. Um, you, you mentioned the hotels are in the main part of the cities and the destinations. And I love that the tours that we were looking at are both guided and independent. So you can have some um, time on your own to explore and do a little shopping if you want, do a little, you know, um, walking around. I love to, to get the feel of the city from the locals. And I think that you mentioned that the guides um, and the hosts are all local. So they're able to give you that connection to the local flavor. So I think that's part of the reason that I personally travel is I want that connection to the locals. I mean, it's great to go see all of the musties. You know, you want to do that. You don't know when you're going to yeah. go back to Italy, but I like the, um, how did you word it off the beaten path type experiences? And I like that you can customize your experience 
you don't have to plan it all, you know, completely before you go. You can get there and decide with your group of friends. And, you know, this is focused on females traveling together. So you can get your group of girlfriends and get there and then decide what you do. Um, is this a good type of vacation for a special occasion? Would you think this would be something for someone that's planning some kind of a special occasion, um, you know, vacation? It sounds yeah, like absolutely. it would to me. Yeah, and, and to me, if I were to do it, whether, you know, especially if it was like a honeymoon or something like that, um, I would recommend the monograms. That would be more my style, just because you would have more of that free time. Um, but I've been on several Globus itineraries and um, definitely have had couples that had anniversaries pretty much on every one of them or birthdays. Obviously, anybody would love a birthday gift to um, any escorted tour. Um, I mean, I, I, cause I do Globus, I've done Globus like four times. Um, and I was doing them when I was in my, you know, early thirties, but I still loved it. And I got to meet great people and it was just great to be, when you've had that free time, since we build it in, um, you just have those options to kind of do what you want to do, um, and have that free time. Awesome. Well, should we see what promos we have? Yes, yes. So I teased at the beginning that I want you to stay to the end because we do have some special promotions. So take it away, TJ. What is our special promotion for all of our attendees today? Okay, so this is good for, um, so right now we on our Globus itineraries, we have 150 per, per person discount. Um, that's good through January um, 3rd. Also, we have a show special for you attending today. Um, you could save $100. It's technically on select Globus family and brands vacations, but it's pretty much any vacation of six nights or more, except for um, an off season brand we have. Um, so that includes Globus and Monograms, we spoke about today, Avalon Waterways um, and Cosmos. Cosmos is our budget touring, um, but any of those products, and you have to book it through um, Anna. So that is good for any of you that attended or check this out um, later and on by November 1st so you can combine both offers so they can get the current offer of the 150 per person and the show offer is that correct yes Sweet. Correct. so they are combinable yeah so 250 off per person and yes, you, me absolutely. you mentioned off season so if you wouldn't mind if you could touch on when is high season when is off season um, in regards to Italy yeah, so Italy, you we're looking at, um, you know, late March, early April to mid, mid to late October. Um, so really, you're looking at late October through most of March is the off season. Um, so peak season and most popular dates that I've noticed um, and for the time I've been here is um, spring and then September. So spring and then early fall or you know, the tail end of summer because, you know, less crowds because maybe kids are in school um, and then the weather's amazing. Um, so those tend to sell out pretty much every year, but any time in between that is the peak season. Gotcha. And then and how I'll far in advance no should somebody book their vacation? Sorry, I interrupted you. Oh, no, I, you're fine. Um, so typically land has kind of been um, nine to 12 months out historically. I'm seeing a lot more six to nine months out. So I'd say kind of the sweet spot, anywhere six months to nine months or so. Um, I know we weren't talking about river cruising, but like Avalon Waterways books out a further out, more like 12 to 15 months out. Um, but definitely land is, you know, anywhere from six to 12 months out is right in the sweet spot there. Awesome. And again, to reiterate, you just need a deposit. And I believe you said $250 per person deposit in order to book your vacation and you can make payments up until, was it 90 days prior? Um, so on land, so Globus and Monograms, it's 45 days prior. Oh, that's um, good. If you are in a, if you're in a group, group final payments are done 65 days prior, um, just because there's a lot more coordination with the group. Um, gotcha. And if yeah, we scheduled a group, with, is there discounts involved if there's a, a group? Like I know some suppliers offer for a certain number of, you know, folks that there's a discount. Is there any kind of special promotion for group travel? 
Yeah, we do have um, what we call a group credit or a tour conductor, which is a half free land for every eighth passenger. So however, you know, you want to split that amongst the group, you know, so one free at, at 16 passengers, things like, you know, and it's a, it's a roll one for, every, you know, a half for every eight. So one at 16, two at 32. Awesome. So, so I, I thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I think that you answered our questions and I'm excited about this promotion. Um, and if you are somebody that wants to go to Italy, you can message me and then my, my email is ahoy at dreamvacations.com or shoot me over a DM and I'd love to connect with you and see how we can create your dream vacation to Italy. I know in the beginning we talked about Italy being our bucket list and I, we got a lot of thumbs up. So I'm happy to help you get there. Uh, and again, TJ, thank you so much for joining and sharing all that valuable information. Do you think we covered anything? Is there anything else we missed? Any last words of wisdom? Well, I just it, thank you so much for having me. And I know we all are just so excited to get out back out and traveling. Um, always, always, Anna is a great partner of all, ours. So always use Anna for everything you book. They make it so much easier for you um, and actually for the suppliers because they have great relationships with, you know, BDMs like ourselves. So no matter what you do, whether it's a Globus family brand product, and hopefully it is, but if it's a big ship cruise or whatever, definitely always book with Anna. Um, she takes great care, care of her clients. So thank you. And thanks for having me. I appreciate Anna. That that. Very nice to hear that. From oh, you me. Bet. Thank you. And so I wanted to invite you to come back tomorrow for day two of the girlfriend's guide to travel virtual travel show, where we will have Richard Bravo from Ama waterways. And we're going to take you on a river cruise essence of Burgundy and Burgundy and Provence in France. So if you've been on a river cruise or you've been curious about what is it, a river cruise itinerary look like join us come back tomorrow at 4 p.m pacific standard time and don't forget we have special promotions and we have freebies we have hundred dollar gift card to amazon we're giving away we're giving away a gift basket and some starbucks cards so everybody that attends gets to go in the drawing and on friday afternoon we're gonna announce the winners. So thank you for joining us today for the Girlfriend's Guide to Traveling Virtual Travel Show. Have a great rest of your day and we hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Thank you.